What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and today we are bringing you another real versus fake comparison. This time it is on the Air Jordan 12 Deep Royal Blue aka Blue Suede. Now as you guys know these videos are for legit checks and are for educational purposes only. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channels, please do so. We try to bring a real versus fake once a week. And for those that are already subs subscribed, I appreciate you. And if you could, give this video a thumbs up to help spread awareness. Now, before we jump into the details, what I always like to do is kind of ask everybody to guess which one is real, which one is fake. And it should be pretty easy. But I will give you a second or if you'd like to pause the video. All right, so once again, we have the fake pair up front. And we have the real pair in the back. And without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into it. The only thing that came with the fakes that did not come with the authorized retail release is a retro card. Now, for 2016, the only pair the retro card came with was the Masters. So if you see this in your box of any other release, not just the Blue Suede 12s, but any other one, be alarmed. Both pairs are a size 10 and a half, so... As far as the shape goes and certain things like that, it should be on point to each other. Now, first up is the coloring. Man, oh man. So we got the authentic on the left. And you can see it's a deep royal blue. That is how it's supposed to be. You can bring it in a little closer. And you can see that the fake pair is almost an ashy blue. No way that is on point or correct. Um, another thing you will notice is the texture. So... The suede that is used, here's the authentic. You should be able to see like the microfibers moving and changing. The fake. I don't see anything. Another thing is the reptile overlay that comes across right here. It should line up pretty much with the center of the tongue. It does not do that here. It more veers off towards, if the way I'm positioned at it, I'm looking at it dead on, and so are you. It'll veer off to the left, and the authentic pair will pretty much run right up the middle where it says 2-3. Slightly off to the left, but not nearly as much as the fake. As well, you will notice the stitching, which I'll get into in a little bit later in the video. Take notice how the stitching is on the mud guard, the spacing, the actual stitch line versus the fake pair. You can see the stitch line is um, a bit more condensed together, but the actual length of each stitch is very, very close, very close together. And speaking of the stitch, since I'm right here and we're just talking about it, you could see that they used a light blue stitching on the fake pair. Especially on the sides. It really pops on it. I guess it's fake suede. <laughs> I don't even know because it's really it's really crappy. But you could definitely see across it. And before people commented, you don't have an updated pair. Yes, I do, because the fakes before that actually said PSNY, because a lot of people thought it was PSNY. Now the authentic pair does have that blue stitching, but it's a deep royal blue stitching. It, it blends in nicely. It goes well, so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Um, it just it kind of it just looks fluid. It looks flush. Like everything is just streaming along nicely. So this part actually reminds me back to I believe it was the French blue video I did, which which was my first real versus fake comparison, and I try to say, listen to the sound. In person, it does literally sound different, and it's crazy because on camera, after I shot it and before I really went into like um, researching or editing my videos and just kind of rolling through it and listening, it didn't sound different at all. So it made me look like a fool pretty much, but um, it is what it is. But I'm not going to do that this time, but I'm going to show you the reptile overlay. It's kind of like oval shapes throughout small very small now here is the fake pair the reptile overlay a bit wider in shape there is ovals in areas i'm not gonna say there isn't but even the leather on it 
it's um to the touch on the fake it's very smooth very very smooth where the authentic is rough you can't see that obviously but um that might be an indicator if you're in person just to rub your finger across it not to listen to sound but the rough the texture of it now you can also see that the midsole even looks like it's cracking it's a different shade as well the rubber part portion that is the fake pair of course and here is the authentic again i'm sad to say but there is some cracking on the on the authentic but there's nearly as much you could see that the blue is closer to the blue used on the upper and it's and also sad to say is you can see the discoloration a part that i don't like on the retail pair but that's not what we're talking about today we are talking about real versus fake the best part of doing these real versus fake videos is that you always continue to learn and you know when i learn something new i pass it along to other people so we all you know pretty much keep informed and um things like that and uh one of the things i have learned is the jump man on the side right here so Although this overlay can vary in size as far as the height goes, the width is about the same, and the jump man pretty much comes, you can see, very, very close to that top stitch area. All right, so that was the authentic. Now here's the fake. You can see it's more, it's stubbier. I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, there's quite a bit more of a gap between it, not a lot, but there's, you know, a noticeable gap between the jump man and this top area. And the actual font uses a bit off and it's a bit larger. Right off the bat, you should know which one's real, which one's fake. Obviously, the fake pair looks like it needs to go on a diet fast. It is fat. I don't know why the fakes, all of them come with a fat rear. I don't know why it is. It just it's always lopsided, it's always off. I just do not get it. Um But as you can see, the authentic goes up like it's normal shape and how it should again we have that stitching that really sticks out on the hill right here it's like a lighter shade of blue that here's the authentic now you also notice there's an a good portion on the fake where this jump man, the emblem is, and the square gray box, you're gonna notice a good amount of space difference versus the authentic. Notice from the liner how it comes in, how wide this area is. This is behind the tab, the heel tab. And this is the fake again. And here's the authentic pair. So you should notice that there's a good amount of size difference. Now, from the back hill, just looking at that top area, um, you could actually see there's a bit more, but not enough. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's not enough for you to tell the difference with it. Um, but as you can see, even the actual overlay is a lot bigger on the fakes. So it's going to cover, obviously, more of this up so it looks about right. Um, but your biggest, from the hill, your biggest indicator would be, obviously, the shape. Um, the 2-3, also. Um, I mean, it does look on point. However, it's the spacing. Look at the amount of space. Look how wide this area is right here on the fake. It's substantially larger. Again, both are size 10 and a half. So, and this shouldn't be the case. But, unfortunately, it is. Now we're to the medial side. So the same thing with the reptile overlay. It's going to be rough on the authentic versus the fake being smooth. The stitching is the same. Now this metallic overlay. Here's the authentic, of course. Look at the spacing on it. Look how, well, in this case, I should say small it is. And if you couldn't see from the two sitting afar, check this out. Look at that. Huge. Like, that's not, um, you know, just a minor, you know, maybe an inch, or that's like two two inches or something like that. But it's not like a few centimeters, I should say, here and there. It is a big difference. Also, um, 
the reptile even will check it in. Ah, I can't even talk. I apologize. Show you closer on the fake pair so you could just see how the medial side of the reptile overlay looks. And now we'll bring you to the authentic. So yes, like I said, it's a bit rougher because it's more pronounced. It sticks out a slightly more. Now this is a very, very, very minor difference, but again, like I always say, it's these little details that add up. And if you're trying to get an authentic pair, it's what you gotta do. So, you notice how the sizing of the Jumpman on the eyelets All right, so that was authentic, of course. Now here is the fake. So the fake just looks, it doesn't even look portioned correctly. Just trying to make sure that comes in good, okay. So that is the fake. It's not even portioned right. And let me show you the authentic one more time because I'm not 100% sure that came clear and focused. Okay, there it is. What I forgot to mention earlier in the video, and I probably should have, because it's not a very important fact, but it is something I've noticed. So on dead stock pairs or, you know, factory laced, they will actually lace them up all the way to the top metal lace. Now the fake pair just comes to the second. And I've noticed that not just with this pair, but others. So another thing is to, now this could vary, but it'll vary slightly. The three from two, three down, should be covered in some way, shape, or form, as you can see on the authentic. Now, the fake is fully exposed. Now, to make sure I was 100% correct about that, actually, I'll leave the authentic up. These are all 2016 releases, dead stock, not worn, still laced up. You can see the two, the three. Can't get that other one in. Jesus, I got to get a bigger table. Um, so as you can see, all go through the top eyelets, all pretty much covered that bottom three. Sorry about that, I had to go put all the shoes back. But what you also notice is the actual shape of the tongue. On the fake pair, it's not really curved as much. It kind of goes a little bit more flat versus a nice curve. You can see, and then let me bring in the fake real quick. So you can tell there's a difference with the curve. Now look at the jump man on the tongue. So the fake pair is the Jumpman looks fat. You can actually see there's a, a difference in between. The two three going down is a lot bigger on the fake versus the authentic. Even the laces are off a bit. Actually close closer than some of the other parts of it, but um as far as the shading goes, but they are off. Now to the sold, it tells a lot of stories here. Um, first up, okay, so the blue is slightly different, real versus fake, um, but you know, it's really hard to pick up on camera, and I mean, it is really, really slight, it's slightly darker on the authentic versus the fake, but the biggest thing is the carbon fiber. Now check out, this is the authentic carbon fiber for you. Notice the ridges, Notice the pattern of the, the darker shade of gray, almost black used. Here is the fake pair. <clears throat> so there's even areas where they don't even connect. You could just see the like ridges like just going through. They don't connect whatsoever. There's like spaces between it. Try to get you a side by side. You could even see that the shading is lighter on the fake of the carbon fiber plate, that is. Um, 
yeah, it's like more of a true black on the on the actual these like graphics, but the backdrop of it is lighter. So the two three is also lighter, a uh, slightly larger the actual two three numbering on the fake versus the real pair. And the fake pair, once again, dude has a belly. Jordan has been enjoying the holiday season a little too much in this one. See that curving out. All right, guys, so I got you off the tripod. It might be a bit bouncy. I have yet to find a good overhead tripod. If you let, have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Now, here we got the fake pair. You can notice the stitching is done in white. zoom in for you guys okay so fake pair has white stitching now here we have the authentic pair you're gonna notice that there's blue stitching at the bottom right above it is white stitching though probably be able to see that let me see if I could zoom in on it for you it's very hard to get inside these 12s at this angle it looks darker on my screen so hopefully it's lighter in person but you can see the stitching where it pretty much grabs the 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 footbed of the shoe and it, it connects it to the panels and then right above that should be a white stitch here we have the size tag on the authentic pair uh, it was produced between 06 22 16 and 08 23 16 Let's see the product number and now let's bring in the fake pair let's see what this is it says 0525160623 so yeah there's a bit of a gap there um actually quite a bit i know the size tag the production um the dates can vary i don't don't think it'll vary to this extent but um just a heads up trying to show you the tag again do not weigh emphasis on the product tag the insole of the fake is a little bit more ashy versus the authentic now you're gonna notice the size difference in the jump man and how they're proportioned you can even see where it says men's size 10 how it's aligned even it's you know the coloring is a bit off on the fake it's more of a flat black versus a, um, a little bit more shinier and then the opposite side of the insole so the fake pair will be a little bit more vibrant in blue versus the authentic. The authentic will be a lighter shade of blue. Now you're also going to notice the, the the glue lines. So really there's none on this pair. I mean there's a little bit right in that area. But the, the authentic you could pretty much see the lines going through it. So this part of the clip isn't going to look so professional as the others because this is the best way to showcase you guys. So... As you guys already know, both are a 10 and a half, but the authentic, which is on the right, the box, is a slightly larger than the fake. As for the red used around the box, um, so it's pretty close, but the authentic is slightly, slightly more vibrant than the fake pair. It might be hard to pick up on camera. I've been messing with the lighting so it could show you the best. Another thing is the alignment of the Jumpman. Pretty much, it almost goes center with this hole right here okay that's the authentic now here's the fake pair as you can see it veers off to the left close but not quite there once again i got you off the tripod i do apologize if it's a bit unstable so inside the box the authentic we have this new sticker i've been seeing quite a bit and i'm sure you guys have too so that comes on the authentic i'm not exactly sure what that is or what it represents so if you do know leave a comment below but that does come on the authentic i didn't see any other things like quality control um stickers nothing like that no stamps which typically comes on the jordan one Nothing of that sort. So here we're going to bring you to the fake pair. And as you can see, here is the cardboard also, or the tissue paper, a bit lighter. But, and there's that retro card. There is none of that, none of that white and green sticker. But they do have a quality control stamp on the inside of the lid.
For the box label, there's really not much of a difference, to be honest with you guys. But, what I did spot, and I mean, this is really, really minor. But you gotta look close. So, the actual font used was this Deep Royal Blue, uh, White, yada, yada, yada. That is actually, so this is the authentic. You can see the thinness of it, or the thickness, or lack of. So now here is the fake pair. You can actually see that it's a bit thicker. All right, everybody, so that concludes our real versus fake comparison of the Air Jordan 12, known as Deep Royal Blue or Blue Suede. Now, if there's anything I missed, I went over these pretty thorough, but leave a comment below, let me know. Also, you can leave a comment if you want me to legit check things. Um, just leave it below, like if there's an auction or a website. I definitely will help out with that. I know some of you guys have been utilizing that, and that's that's cool to me. Like I'm, I'm very thankful to help out and very happy to help out. Um, if you have a request for a real versus fake, also leave it in the comments below. Now, if you sat through this whole video, which I know these are a bit longer than usual, um, I thank you very much. I'm very appreciative. If you like, give it a thumbs up. If you did like it and enjoy it, that goes a long, long way. If you like this kind of content as well as, you know, some reviews and comparisons and even unboxings here and there. I actually got some cool stuff coming in. I, I think it's cool, but I don't know about you guys. Um, make sure to subscribe. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.